So there you can hopefully see how the spark timing is a little bit off. That line was F, which is where it's supposed to fire, but it's supposed to fire in the center of this hole, not over back here. It's supposed to fire closer to the center. So I have it out and this looks really hard to move because that screw head's gonna start hitting the pickup coil if I move it. And the pickup coil is also really close to the wall here. Um, I'm gonna try to move it as much as I can. So unfortunately, that's as much as I could slot the holes out. They were already slotted front to back. I just put them down a little bit deeper because the bottom of this hits this standoff. So it only allows me to move that much. So we got a little bit forward here, not enough though. So I think I'm gonna have to slot these holes out too, which I didn't really wanna do because I believe there's some kind of timing related between the, this coil and where the flywheel magnets are because the capacitor in the CDI box has to get charged before this fires and I don't really want to mess with that but I think I have to and I'm just gonna hope it still works so I'm done with the stator I did end up grinding the uh, pickup coil down quite a bit and I really just took a gamble because I don't know what's in there I'm imagining it's probably just a copper coil but I didn't hit it luckily and I also moved this over a little bit more by grinding that standoff down there and filed these out these holes right there and there so i could turn it so that the limiting factor is still this point right here hitting this case and then i also move this into the flywheel as close as i can get it without um, rubbing because this is on an angle so the further this way it goes the better so still fits good Scraping the pickup coil, but I think I'm just gonna let it wear 